Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And in this one, I want to take a moment to very quickly take a look at the USJ armor set and weapons. Now, obviously, yes, the big thing that dropped today is Fatalis, and I am working on some Fatalis videos, but those are taking a little bit longer. So I thought I'd just turn my attention to this very quickly because this is a couple of quick quests you can do if you want to do something in the meantime, especially since Fatalis is quite challenging. So if you're waiting for, say, your friends to come online or you just want something to do whilst you're working out your strategy, then at least doing the USJ quest is something to uh, keep you busy. Also, for those of you guys that like to accessorize your characters, don't forget that alongside Fatalis and the title update today, there are a whole load of new pendants. And if you guys want to check out all of those, then 269 has done a video over on his channel. I will link it in the description box down below, showing off all of the premium ones so you can look at them before you have to buy them. So, first things first, if you turn your attention to the quest board, the quests you want to be doing are either USJ Shine On Forever or USJ Ballet of Frost. Now, Shine On Forever is against a Velkana in the Celiana Supply Cache, which is of course that cool arena that we've been using up until now to fight some of the Elder Dragons. And doing this quest will get you the materials you need to craft the bow and also the layered version of the original Monster Hunter World USJ armor. Meanwhile, the quest USJ Ballet of Frost is against a Frostfang Barioth, and that one will give you the materials you need to upgrade the bow and craft the new armor set. So if we start off with the armor set, this is the Azure Age armor set, the uh, brand new one, the Master Rank one, and it looks a little something like this, it looks pretty cool. I will say I do still prefer the original one, the one from Monster Hunter World, but either way, this is what it looks like. And if you guys are wondering what it looks like on Female Hunters, then this is a screenshot from uh, Capcom's recent tweets. But that aside, the skills on this one, it behaves very similar to the last USJ armor set in that it's treated basically like Rathalos gear or Silver Rathalos gear. So you have the Silver Rathalos two-piece and four-piece set bonuses with this one. Two-piece, of course, raising the maximum slinger capacity skill and the four-piece set bonus being true critical element, which greatly increases your elemental damage when landing critical hits. So of course, if you do happen to be working on any kind of true critical element build, keep in mind because this is treated like Rathalos gear, you can combine USJ pieces and Silver Rathalos pieces. Of course, on top of that, you have the maxed out slinger capacity skill, which of course increases your loading capacity for all slinger ammo. You have four points in constitution to reduce your fixed stamina depletion by 40%. You have weakness exploit level three distributed across three different armor pieces. You have focus level three to of course increase your fill rates by 20% and reduce the charge times by 15% and you have water attack. So yes, not necessarily the best of the skills and I mentioned this before, but the uh, USJ set in Monster Hunter World did have a couple of cool pieces. A couple of pieces did used to go into some of the sort of meta sets at one point in the game. However, this one isn't, uh, it doesn't necessarily live up to its legend because as some people rightfully said in the comments in my last video, there were some USJ armor sets, if we think back to 4 Ultimate, that were just borderline broken. However, in light of Fatalis dropping and Fatalis' armor being pretty much the best set in the game, uh, it's going to be hard to beat that. But anyway, that aside, this is what the armor set looks like. Also on the slot front, you have a level 4 slot in the helmet, a level 4 in the chest, 3 level 1s in the gloves, a level 4 and 2 level 1s in the waist, and a level 4 and a level 1 in the legs. However, if you don't want to craft it, but you do like the look of it, you can also craft this as a layered armor set. If you scroll into here, you can of course see you need the large Azure Era gem, which again comes from the second quest, the one against the Frostfang Barrier. So basically, if you need the gems, you want to fight Frostfang. If you need the tickets, you want to fight Valkana. There is also a fancy new little pendant, which does look quite cool. For those of you guys that want Palico gear, there is of course the Azure Era gear, which is the new set for the Palico. Or if you like the original gear, which does look really cool, you can also craft that one as well. However, on top of that, not forgetting there is a brand new weapon. There is a new bow, the Azure Era Soaring Dragon. So again, for this one, if you want to craft it, you'll need the Azure Era Seal, which comes from the first Velkana quest. Meanwhile, if you want to upgrade it, you're then going to need the gem to take it all the way. This will then bring it up to 324 attack, 30% affinity, 330 water with two level four slots. And of course, default coatings being close range, power, poison, sleep, and blast. Additionally, it is worth noting if you have the longsword from way back when, when of course World came out, you can also upgrade that now all the way to a Master Rank Rarity 12 version, giving it 891 attack, purple sharpness, 30% affinity, 240 water, and again, two level four slots. And that does actually look very, very cool. It was a very nice looking longsword, so to know that we can bring this all the way to Master Rank is incredibly cool. And then finally, to run it all out, if you guys are more attached to the original armor sets, you can of course go and craft the layered version of the Azure Starlord set, which looks fantastic. That one just requires the seals, 
So go and hunt Velcana for that one and you are good to go. That my friends, is pretty much everything you need to know about the USJ quest. They are of course limited time, they're event quests, so make sure you do them while they're available. And of course, if you're looking for someone to keep you busy while you're waiting to fight for Talus, then uh, this is something to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, keep it locked. We've got plenty of Fatalis videos coming your way later on today and this weekend. So definitely don't miss them. Stick around. But until then, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there. The team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.